Cliff and Bustler, Unit 1878. And with me is the enchanting Muriel Weston. <laughs> Unit number 4325 with two ceiling fans. And this is the Boca Grove Condominium Report. I have a quick announcement to make. They hired a new nurse. So if you want to keep your jewelry, wear it. <laughs> Back to you, Cliff. All right. Today, I want to talk about space heaters. I've been silenced long enough! Muriel, they are mini portals of fiery death. Do not be lured in by the seductive promise of a cozy nap. I had mine on for five seconds. I smell something burning. So I yanked the plug out of the wall and I threw the whole cockamamie thing in the bathtub. Sure enough, sparks everywhere. <laughs> Space heaters, more like for cock the toasters from hell. <laughs> Back to you, Muriel. Thank you, Clifford. A lot of Boca Grove residents have been asking me, where's the cream corn gone? <laughs> and the oatmeal. A stroke. <laughs> you got me against the ropes, Lord. But I got a one two punch. <laughs> now, here is unit number 3521's Dilly May Jack. Okay. Now, first of all, I do not need people. I got a clock to tell me what time the best show come on which is never. That's why I go to the moon. Now do like I do. Sneak your own popcorn in by hiding it under your wig. That's what I do. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, that's great to know, Dilly. Now, hey, now, what you doing down there? Oh, Dilly, you said I mean Dilly. Oh, no, I'm sorry, did I say I mean Dilly? Oh, that's all right. I didn't want to interrupt you. Oh, no, oh, you oh, no. Communism. Hey. <laughs> Muriel. Oh, yes, you're, you're, I... you, you have a guest. Oh, oh, this is our next guest is my great grand nephew. He's visiting from San Francisco. <laughs> Ted Loveland. Hey there. Look at you, Golden Girls. Thank you for being a friend, huh? <laughs> Thank you for coming, Ted. It's nice to have another man around here. Well, how could I not stop by? You guys are so close to South Beach. <laughs> and look what great shape he's in. Him and all his workout friends. Pedro, Jose, DeAndre, and none of them married. Call your granddaughters. <laughs> We're just gonna do some basic low-impact aerobics, and don't worry, it'll be more low-impact than Justin Guarini's last album. I don't know what that means. Just follow along. Oh, oh. Look, on TV is taking the lead, everybody. Just follow her, follow her. She's freestyling. everyone. They're always so cold in here, even though it's Florida. <laughs> the rec room now has a space heater. <gasps> no! Going on. On Premiere Tuesday, don't miss According to Jim. During the power outage, Jim does something stupid that would never happen in the real world. And after Jim, catch a supersized episode of the season premiere of The Bachelor. Some guy chooses a woman from a big group. 
Then, on Serious Wednesdays, at its new time, catch a very dramatic NYPD Blue stuffed with extra drama. After that, say farewell to The Bachelor in its season finale at its new time and night. Then, on Star Cross Thursdays, it's Life with Bonnie, the most successful and least watched show in the history of television. Bonnie's old friend Jim Belushi stops by. And then, it's the African American Hour with black to black episodes of My Wife and Kids, hosted by The Bachelor. The Drew Carey Show moves to daytime television because of its ratings. It's replaced with a rock block of According to Jim. Bonnie Hunt guest stars. The George Lopez Show kicks off TGIF Fridays. Married to the Kellys gets canceled TGIF Saturdays. And we just remembered we have a show called Less Than Perfect that'll rev up TGI JKLMNOPQRS Sunday. On Tuesday, Monday Night Football moves to its new night. Thursdays, that's this Friday. Premier Wednesday debuts on its new night, Wednesday, with a new Barbara Walters special. Barbara interviews Jim Belushi, George Lopez, Bonnie Hunt, The Bachelor, and the dog from Mary to the Kellys. Dragnet is back with a new name, a new time, and a new cast. We have no slot for the show yet. Barbara Walters guest stars. This Friday, Kelly Ripa takes over for John Ritter in Eight Simple Rules. On Thursday, Jim Belushi takes over for Kelly Ripa in Hope and Faith. George Lopez takes over for Kelly Ripa on Live with Regis and Kelly. And Regis Philbin dies on a very special America's Funniest Home Video. Tuesdays move to Saturday. And Thursdays and Fridays combine on an all-new ABC Thurs Fridays. Hosted by funny man Tom Bergeron. Check local listings. ABC, we're all that. Airport. Passengers are required to shut up and cooperate with security officials. Hi, uh, are there any seats left on the five o'clock flight to Seoul? Yes. Great. I'll take uh, anything, any seat, doesn't matter, first class, economy, whatever you've got's great. Okay, let's see. It's like a leap. 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 A, a lip? Yes, lip. And then when you go, uh, oh, oh, hot dog, you know? <laughs> it's like a, oh, oh, hot dog, you know? Oh, what? Uh, hot dog? Yes, hot dog, oh, oh, and then a lip. <laughs> no, no, I want a ticket. To Seoul? Ticket? Computer? Print ticket? Tap, tap, tap? Oh, yes, ticket. Tap, tap, tap. Yes, <laughs> tap, tap, tap. <laughs> <laughs> what, what's happening? Uh, tap, tap, tap. Uh, it's like, uh, you know, like a... <laughs> you know, and then when you go beep, beep, beep. Beep, beep, beep. Well, what? Excuse me, I speak Korean. Maybe I can help. Yeah. You ever see a Seoul Heng Pyo is Ah, Pudi. Pudi. Poop. What's he saying? I don't know. I, I think he's saying poop. <laughs> pyo. Solo ganen pyo. Poop. No. <laughs> I don't think this guy's Korean. Well, this is ridiculous. I have to get on that plane. A not a Japanese? Aye. Japanese, Japan, I. <laughs> Japanese, I can speak Japanese. Mushi mushi. Uh, kipu ichima, uh -huh. onagashimasu, sol. I, Japanese, ha. No poop, like no poop. Ha. Right. Japanese. Yeah, right, right, right. No poop, no Aye. poop. Japanese, ha. No poop, yes, right. no poop. Right. Right. Oh, no. I, tap, tap, tap. Yes, uh, here's my passport. There you are, tap, tap, tap. Uh, it's like a bubbles. You know, bubbles. Bubbles, and then, oh, oh, hot dog, bubbles. I don't think this guy's Japanese. Well, uh, you know what, it, just forget it. I'm a dead man. I can help. Excuse me. Mm. Hi. Beep, beep. <laughs> yes, lip. Lip. Uh-oh, hot dog. Poop. Uh, poop. Yes. Bubbles. <laughs> beep, beep, tap, tap, tap. It's a ticket to Seoul. What language were you speaking? I got a brother who's an idiot, so I'm fluent and dumbass. <laughs> Have a good flight.
My name is Dr. Bruce Banner. When I get angry, I turn into a monster. Bruce, don't do this. I have to take this serum, Betty. If it works, then the Hulk will be gone forever. But if the serum doesn't work, you'll still turn into the Hulk. Except the Hulk will be terribly, terribly gay. <laughs> now, not only do I become the Hulk, I also take lonely fat girls to the prom. Destroy lab, girlfriend. Me install window box for flowers. <laughs> Put down that chair, gay Hulk. This not indoor furniture. This outdoor furniture. It don't go with room. Where's your big pink friend? He's inside me. Lucky you. From gay to life to Schumacher comes the gayest film since The Last Samurai. Hulk 2, Me Out of Closet, coming this summer. Ah! Tebo not record sex in the city! <laughs> The second half of Mad TV is brought to you by your friends at the FCC. Reminding you to keep it clean or we will find your ass so fast you won't know what the f hit you. And by Fox's American Idol. Did you see that tall red-headed singer holding his grandparents' hands? What the hell was that about? And by Nitrous Oxide. Keeping Horatio Sands laughing at his own jokes for over three years. And by... You're watching state-sponsored North Korean television. Get it on or die. <laughs> The man who not only makes the bomb, he is the bomb. Kim Jong <laughs> Raise the roof. He do like it's like a cabbage patch. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> okay, here's my opening joke. Hey, Ping Tong, what do you get when you cross a disobedient country and a nuclear missile? I don't know, Kim. What you get? A South Korean barbecue. <laughs> oh man. Oh boy, yes. Let me tell you. It was so hot today. How, how was it? Hey, nobody asked you to speak. <laughs> nice shot. OK, time for impromptu parade in my honor. Tonight's show, I wanted to show you my favorite singer. Unfortunately, Aaron Carter is unavailable. <laughs> but my second favorite singer is here. He used to be in sync, and now he's out of sync. <laughs> Just kidding. He's a big solo artist. Please welcome JC Chazé. <laughs> yeah. Mr. President. Please, 
Call me by my hip hop name, Little Keem. Boy! <laughs> Uh, this is Chazé. You are very good looking. In fact, if I were a woman, I would dry hump you for hours. <laughs> Just kidding. I couldn't last two minutes. I'm a two-pump chump. <laughs> no good, no good. Thank, uh, th thank you, little Kim. You are welcome. But I am not a woman. I am all man. In fact, I have a magic penis. <laughs> Behold. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> ah. that's, that's a nice piece of tail you got there, man. <laughs> I'm the only one that tells funny jokes around here. <laughs> but anyhow, time for you to sing. <laughs> He's a good, no, really. <clears throat> Okay, North Korea, this is a song from my CD, Schizophrenic. Now, I didn't get to perform this song on the Pro Bowl, but I'm gonna sing it for you right now. They tried to censor your song. Censorship is bad unless I do it. In fact, I'm gonna do it right now, starting with your hair. Pixelate it! <laughs> Why would you pixelate my hair? Because it was too sexy. <laughs> and pixelate his crotch, his nipples, and his feet. <laughs> In fact, I rewrote your whole song. It's on the cue cards. And if you get too sexy, I'm gonna cut to this. Hold on, man. This is ridiculous. You can't just change the words to my song. Okay, let's do it. Some girls dance with women, and that's Kim Jong Il's with them. He has got good rhythm. Kim Jong Il can dance. Ladies, take off your thong. His magic wand will bang your gong. He can go all night long. Once he's in your. I had to cut to the kittens. You got too sexy. Oh no! I'm so embarrassed. JC, how could you? You know what? I told you guys I wasn't doing this sketch. <laughs> this, man. Sketch? <laughs> Some girls dance with women, and let Kim Jong Il's meet them. Everybody, huh? Yeah, yeah we do it. Hi, I'm Kenny Rogers, and this is Jessica. the police brutality trick. There he is. Move the camera. Hide the camera. Hey, guys. Excuse me, officer. I lost my doggy up in the park. Hey. <laughs> Hi, I'm Kenny Rogers. This is the stilt trick. <laughs> Ken Rogers, this is self-defense. We're gonna test out some self-defense items. We got pepper spray, electric cattle prod, a sword, I guess, nunchucks, and bats. We're gonna see. Oh, we're gonna see which one of these items is best for the consumer self-defense. Is pepper spray. <laughs> Give me all your money. Ah! <laughs> this is the cattle prod. Now. Hey, aren't you the guy from Blink-182? <laughs> oh, God! Okay, stop! 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 I'm Kenny Rogers, and this is the off-road toy downhill. See all that? These toys, we're gonna, we're gonna race these Let's go! <laughs> Kenny Rogers, and this is 
the shopping cart trip. <laughs> Kenny Rogers, and this is the bat fetcher trick with my teeth. <laughs> oh. Challenge. Each one of these jackasses has some dairy product in front of them. And then the winner is the one who finishes it first. The cheers. Let's get going. I was raised on the dairy, bitch. <laughs> Don't come near me, I'm gonna keep yourself. Challenge. If Kenny Rogers' jackass cannot, 